I was just taking a quick look at the Sateki. This is a unit I took a look at a while ago. But this one, they've actually made some upgrades to it, right? So they've changed some things based on customer feedback, <laughs> as you can see right there. And so let's just take a look at it and find out, you know, maybe this is something you might want to consider, especially considering the price, right? This is a budget unit. It's got LFP batteries. It's got a lot of the stuff you're going to want. Now, is it top spec stuff? No, it's not top spec. And so the biggest change with this unit is actually the screen. There's an actual percentage display now. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, the original model just had a couple of LED blue lights that would light up. I think there were like four or five of them. You know, so basically it was just in 20% increments, something like that. Now, the reason they kind of did that is because just the design of this unit in general, they were trying to go for a very minimalistic design. And I think actually it, it was quite an attractive unit. You know, I talked about this in some of my older videos um, is that, you know, there's a difference between basic design and minimalist design. You know, basic is where it would be simple but cheap looking right there's something about this design that almost has that swedish you know minimalistic look to it and then now we do get a proper display screen on it as well so it's small but the percentage actually the percentage the size of that percentage number is quite large and now they also say that this auto power off mode which is basically an eco mode right um that it's you can have this on or off you can choose but I guess this is a new feature as well. So, you know, <laughs> if you happen to fall asleep, you know, and you left the stuff on, it's not going to just continue to drain the battery until it dies, basically, right? So it'll shut off, you know, if you're just using, if you leave the inverter on or something, right? Or you're just using a low amount of power, it'll shut it off. And then the, the last little update they do talk about, and actually I can't remember if this was something... I mean, they're, they're saying this is a new feature. I guess they didn't have it before. Is that you can charge and discharge simultaneously, right? Pass through charging. And as I mentioned, it is LFP battery, 299 watt hours. So this is this size with this 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. The specs on this thing are very similar to that new Jackery 300 plus. That's why I mentioned it. But this thing is quite a bit larger, you know, not just the dimensions wise. But the weight, I think, is about one, it weighs about one pound more as well, right? So the LFP cells in this unit probably are just cheaper cells compared to the Jackery, right? That's how Jackery has got that size down. So small, so lightweight. But still, you know, I mean, this is, you know, it's older tech, yes. But it's been upgraded, right? It's been upgraded. Now, the charging isn't great. Um, it's not great, I mean... <laughs> Let's just be honest, 60 watts is the most you can put into this thing, and it is going into the DC input, right? Uh, you do have to use a power brick with this thing to charge it from the wall. And as they say, you know, it's going to take a while. And then for solar, basically it's the same, you know, it's the same input. So it's the same specs, up to 60 watts, and they just say, you know, I think it was 26 volts, you know, so it's the basic, it's the basic solar specs. And there is a nice light on the front, um, which, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of, but it does look like it has a frosted lens on it at least. So that's something that Jackery didn't put on their 300 plus, right? They only have the frosted lenses on their higher end models. So the frosted lens will just make it less like a spotlight or a flashlight. And just, it makes the light a little bit more usable, right? Because if you're using it in a dark room, you don't, you don't really want a flashlight. You just want it to light up the room, right? All right, let's take a look at the specs here. So this is interesting because we do get all kind of the specs and features that you'd want in a small power station like this, right? The LFP batteries, USB-A, USB-C, 12-volt inverter, you know, the light. I talked about everything that basically all the same stuff that that Jackery 300 Plus has. That's why I'm comparing it to that unit. But this one's a lot cheaper, right? Now, you know, why is that? <laughs> it's because... Yes, the features are there, but the, the, the actual numbers are not, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. But still, you know, for this price, I don't know. It, maybe this is good enough for you. So looking at the USB-C, uh, 2.5 amps. Okay, so, and that's only, that's not even the full 20 volt USB-C. That's only 12 volt. 
which is 30, 30 watts, okay? So 30 watt USB-C, that's all you get. Um, but you do, do get two quick charge USB-A's, so that's nice. The inverter, 110 volts only. Um, you know, I like to see these things. We like to see 120 volts. It should be 120 volts, but still, um, especially in a small power station like this, it's not the end of the world. I, actually, at this point, it, I don't, I'm gonna just going to say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, when we're talking about power stations that have like a 3,000 watt inverter, <laughs> where you might be running some really big loads or you might be running stuff, you know, with large extension cords or, or wires running through your entire house or RV, then you have to have 120 volts for sure. Just because you might have some voltage drop across all those wires. And like I said, you're running, you might be running appliances that just have a huge surge, right? So you don't want to risk the voltage dropping any lower than 110 volts, right? I mean, that's kind of the, the, the minimum you want to be at. But with this, you know, what are you going to be plugging into this thing? It's just going to be a small load, right? So that's just good. Laser welding technology um, doesn't fall even if it swings intensely. So that's sounds good to me. I, I have no idea what that means, but it sounds good, right? Yeah, so that's just kind of a quick overview of this update. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm glad to see that they updated this model. I mean, that just, that just shows to me that, you know, this company actually cares about making a good product. So, you know, that's obviously appealing. Now, as we talked about the specs, you know, the specs are still pretty outdated, you know, especially we're going into 2024 here, right? The specs are outdated, but I would say, you know, at this price, you know, with this coupon, with this coupon here, you know, a little over a hundred dollars, <laughs> I think, you know, I think it's going to be good enough for you, right? It's going to be good enough. And, um, you know, the, the DC input is the specs aren't good, but at least it's a barrel jack, right? Um, actually, I don't know if it's, a, you know, is it a 7909? I don't know. Is it a 5521? I don't know. Maybe it's a 5525. Again, I don't know. I don't have my hands on this thing, right? But either way, it doesn't matter if it's one of those, it's a million times better than USB-C, which is what Jackery's putting on their their new small models, right? The 300 uh, plus, the 100 plus. They're using USB-C for solar, which it sucks. <laughs> you know, basically it sucks. So yeah, let's just kind of wrap it up here. Um, I think we went over everything here. I don't know. I think just at the end of the day, I like <laughs> I like this unit because of the minimalist design. And like I said, you're going to be able to do all the stuff you want to do with it. It's just not top. It's just not the top specs, right? And I do like that it's all black. There's just, I don't know. The It seems like, it seems obvious that, you know, at the end of this video, I should just say, go buy the Jackery, right? I mean, that seems obvious, but there's just something I don't like about that Jackery, right? I think that's just, to me, I just like this better, even though it's not as good, right? It's not as good. But when you're paying a little over $100, I mean, it's sometimes you can appreciate what you have, right? I mean, appreciate what you have. Maybe it's not the best. So yeah, and you know, hopefully just kind of found this overview you know, it was a long video. I know it's a long video, but, you know, hopefully you found it helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.